we are glad the Dauphin is so pleasant with us. His present and your pains we thank you for. When we have matched our rackets to these balls, we will in France, by God's grace, play a set. Shall strike his father's crown into the hazard. Tell him he hath made a match with such a wrangler that all the courts of France will be disturbed with chases. And we understand him well how he comes o'er us with our wilder days, not measuring what use we made of them. We never valued this poor seat of England, and therefore living hence did give ourselves to barbarous license, as tis ever common that men are merriest when they are from home. But tell the Dauphin I will keep my state, be like a king and show my sail of greatness when I do rouse me in my throne of France, for that have I laid by my majesty and plodded like a man for working days, but I will rise there with so full a glory that I will dazzle all the eyes of France, yea, strike the Dauphin blind to look on us. And tell the pleasant prince, this mock of his hath turned his balls to gunstones, and his soul shall stand sore charged for the wasteful vengeance that shall fly from them. For many a thousand widows shall this his mock mock out of their dear husbands, mock mothers from their sons, mock castles down. Aye, some are yet ungotten and unborn that shall have cause to curse the Dauphin's scorn. But this lies all within the will of God, to whom I do appeal, and in whose name tell you the Dauphin, I am coming on to venge me as I may, and put forth my rightful hand in a well-hallowed cause. So get you hence in peace, and tell the Dauphin his jest will savour but of shallow wit, when thousands weep more than did laugh at it. Convey them with safe conduct. Fare you well. <laughs>